Okay guys, today we're back over our Naruto Ultimate Ninja Blazing and today we're going to be doing Eyes Behind the Mask or Impact The Great War Begins. This is the Masked Obito event or Masked Modder or Masked Man, however you want to say it. We all know who he is. If you didn't know who he is and I just spoiled the anime for you, I am deeply sorry and I apologize. But I've heard that this raid isn't too terribly hard given I just did my first ever S rank run and I failed at the end because I was not paying attention at all. I was talking to you guys rambling on like I normally do and I looked down and I had no health. So we're going to learn from our mistakes. I did not keep that recording. I could, I should have kept it and like showed it to y'all as a fail, but I decided not to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to learn from my mistakes like I said and actually complete it through and not try to ramble as much. So for everyone that hasn't seen this raid and if you haven't seen this raid I'll be really surprised because Shiny is the go and everyone watches Shiny, but if you haven't watched this raid though. The main thing that is here is first stage is White Zetsu, second stage is White Zetsu that can heal when they're by each other, and then the last stage is Yugito, Yagura, Edo form, and then a, a masked man that does reduce damage from bravery and wisdom units, which is very weird given that it is a body raid and not a wisdom or bravery raid. I guess because, you know, we have so many broken bravery units, it reduces their damage. I don't know. But, um, they, they can do a good amount of damage given that it's a body only raid and I'm using skill so I had the advantage and I take damage reduction that they actually killed me. I would say it was pretty hard. So what we're going to do actually is, as you can see from the team build that we have, we have our man Han. I think actually low key let me stop. I think this is Han. I may be completely wrong. No, this is Han. This is our ultimate PvP Han, I believe. Or is that Ninja Road? I don't know. This is our Han. I got him ultimate. He's pretty good. He's just like another um a little tiny worse version of Utataka. We have a our Naruto, then we have Utataka and then a Obito. So we have a pretty, pretty stacked team here. We have two AoE. No, we have three AoE on the top and then two AoE, uh, two single target nukers on the bottom and then just one healer. We are going to save one unit here just so we can get Utataka's ultimate back. Only reason I want it back and I'm not just going to go ahead and move on is because since Yagura and Yugito can actually do a good amount of damage and that and Yagura especially he has the uh, when he hits you and they're both AOE by the way when he hits you he switches your units out now I don't think Yugito does anything special but I do know Yagura does switch your units out and a masked man has a single target flame jutsu that does a decent amount of damage and then a full map AOE attack so the AOE here is completely insane I was thinking about doing a heart only run for you guys and I still will try um, I don't think it's going to happen. I especially don't think it's going to happen if I try on a double S rank. So, but bear with me. I will try my best either way for all of it. So let's go ahead. We are able to move on. We're going to start off with our all of our AOE attacks here. First, starting off with Hanzo. I said Hanzo. Oh my god. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch. A lot of Overwatch. Dude, it's only three minutes in and we're almost done with this raid. This is kind of depressing. Given that... Oh, he gotta give himself an attack boost there. So I guess it changes from A and B rank. A and B rank, he reduces bravery and wisdom damage. And I'm guessing this one just gives himself an attack. I don't, I don't know what it's. At. I wasn't really looking. Let me know what he does down in the comment section below. So Yagura attacks first. Yagura is the one at the far back. Um, it's pretty scary, bro. It's pre he's pretty scary, just for the fact that he can switch out. Now, can this Kabuto immobilize? I think. I think only his first one immobilizes. 60% chance of attack reduction for 5 turns to 30% chance of Jutsu Sealing for 2 turns. The Jutsu Sealing would be really nice, especially the attack reduction, and then the first one does immobilization for 1 turn. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to nuke off all these people. We want Yagura and Yuyuto to die. If they die off, we can deal with the Obito. We have enough healing to deal with that. But okay, so we got the Jutsu Seal on Obito, which is really nice. Oh, well, Masked Man, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that y'all don't know that yet. Um, so Yagura and Yugito are done. They are done though. If you're all wondering what the mistake I made was on the first time run through, um, I had a whole bunch of single attacking nukers. I had two Naruto's and a Obito instead of having the Uchitaka there so I didn't have the extra damage that I have now. And plus I spread them out more. I didn't use, I didn't start off with Han, I started off with, um, Naruto and stuff so they ended up spreading out 
But you know, we're gonna let our girl Sakura come through and finish this up. Sakura, can you finish it? Can you clutch it for us, please? Come on, Sakura. He has that much health. Come on. Sakura, what's wrong with you? What is look, 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 watch, ready? Watch. He's dead. He had one health left. One health. Sakura, you couldn't do one extra damage. Given it's kind of my fault because I don't have you max liver broken and or I don't have any pills fed into you. But still, Sakura, come on. That was one damage you that you had to do. That was it. That was it. So can we get an Obito? I kind of want to look at his art before we end off the video since the video has been really short. Like literally, it's like a five minute video. I have to find some way to push it out to 10 minutes long. Let me stop. We're not going to do that. But we are going to get this Obito max limit broken here. So what does this dupes? So he has immobilization resistance, jutsu sailing resistance, immobilization, and then jutsu sailing. Um, I'm not really liking the dupes here. I'm not liking the dupes here. Field skill reduces the chance of immobilization and then immobilization. I, I'm not liking this at all. Three times attack. Eh. Towards all enemy in range, 60% chance of slip damage for four turns to knock them back. And then eight times attack. Um, and neutralizing element of ability. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We got a free-to-play person that nullifies damage from opposite typings. That's pretty cool. But, um, five chakra, bro. AoE five chakra with that little bit of stats. I'm not liking. We are still going to max limit break this man. Let me know down in the comment section below if you have him max limit broken already. If you do play on JP and or do you plan on getting a max limit broken. Let me know if you're able to do heart only. Let me know your team down so I can copy it and try it for myself. Anyway guys, I'll see you the fuck later. Peace.